this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming to another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, sharing, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. Want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the two-way community. And like I said before, y'all the star people. I'm just a mess. I'm just every citizen trying to uphold the Constitution, defend the Second Amendment. So with that said, um, I want to appreciate y'all coming over here, smashing the like button. I appreciate all the comments and stuff that y'all leave. I appreciate y'all sharing on your favorite social media platform. I appreciate the ones that follow me on Gunstream, and I appreciate the ones every single day who stick with me through the good and the bad and ups and downs. Nothing moves in a straight line, people. So. We're going to get into it. We're going to talk about the NRA people. Now, um, you know, we've seen this coming, people. We talked about it over here on the DC Channel Guns. We've been talking about it for years, decades when it comes to the NRA. So the NRA has pretty much filed bankruptcy. Um, to my, um, they pretty much came out and said, hey, you know, they're leaving New York and they're going to Texas. Now, the NRA headquarters is pretty much um, is, at, is in Fairfax, Virginia. But they file as non for non profit a non profit corporation in New York. Now, uh, when it comes to the NRA people, I'm talking about everything that we've seen when it comes to the NRA. The downfall of the NRA is the NRA fault. I'm talking about you know since um, I think it was 1871, the NRA has pretty much been a powerhouse fighting for the Second Amendment people. I'm talking about a powerhouse. I'm talking about they have spent. Massive amount of money on a lot of your presidents and stuff to keep fighting for the Second Amendment. A lot of your politicians, they do a lot of lobbying and stuff like that. But, you know, um, in the recent years, we've seen the money to pretty much dwindling. I went over the numbers over here when it comes to the NRA spending money. Um, when Trump was elected, uh, first elected and everything, we've seen how much money they spent back in Trump. And then we start to see how much money they were spending in Trump running for president again. And it was not nowhere near not even a small percentage near of what they spent um, on Trump the first time. And so we knew right then it was a problem. Um, one sign that I was looking at people when we had, you know, your NRA was pretty much paying gun channels and stuff. You had a lot of gun channels supporting the NRA and stuff like that. Uh, to my, when the NRA was kicking out cash, you had gun channels and stuff that was filling their pockets and stuff. But, you know, once we seen that break loose, a lot of the gun channels, Pretty much walking away from the NRA, we knew it was another big problem. Now, we had rumors that, you know, when it came to the NRA, there was infighting. They was trying to overthrow Lafayette. Uh, to my Lafayette taking in millions and stuff for his salary. It was so much going on. People that was leaving the NRA was pretty much um, throwing the NRA under the bus and stuff and seeing what was going on inside of the NRA and stuff. So the NRA had their own internal issues. And the downfall of the NRA is the NRA fault. Now, with that said, the NRA was taking in a lot of money, people. Uh, to my, you know, we was looking at the numbers, and you know, the NRA numbers when it forwards their memberships were still going in, but they was going into a, pretty much a, a negative net profit, people. That means that money, more money was going out than it was coming in. We talked about that, and you know, now we're seeing what really happened now. When all this was coming out, you had people coming out, um, Lafayette is coming out. Oh, it's no problem with the NRA. We we got a whole lot of money. We're stronger than ever, this and that. But guess what? Uh, to my, you know, the truth will come out sooner or later. So now they're filing bankruptcy. Now, with all the lawsuits and stuff that the um, NRA is facing, uh, to my, a lot of these lawsuits are pretty much, uh, it's pretty much gonna, you know, there it's gonna end the NRA if they don't have the money because these are millions of dollars of lawsuits that's, you know, on the NRA right now, and you know when you have the executives and you were the top people in the NRA right now. Now, before I get to that, now Latita James came out and said that you know she's, um, you know, found fraud and stuff in the NRA when she first came out and talked about all the charges, Wayne Lafayette. Um, you know, spent what eight hundred thousand dollars going to the Bahamas multiple times. Um, you had you know NRA executives and stuff, uh, people in the NRA buying luxury items. You know, you know buying personal stuff and everything, homes and all this kind of stuff. It was just so much going on, and and so now, uh, you know, we find out that the NRA is pretty much um, you know is running out of money and stuff now. I don't know what their memberships are looking at, looking like and stuff. I don't know if people, you know, is not re-signing up with the NRA. I've seen a lot of comments at that time, how people felt about the NRA and stuff like that. Um, you know, you, you had people saying, hey, they need to get rid of them. That's good for them. Some people say we need to keep them and stuff. 
And in my personal opinion, we need to keep all our gun organizations. We need to stay as strong as possible. We don't need to be weakened in nowhere, people. We need all the help we can when it comes to the Second Amendment in this country. But the NRA brought this on themselves. Now, they're saying they're going to Texas. Now, I don't know if they're going to Texas to, to have more uh, two-way friendly judges and stuff like that and support in Texas and stuff like that, more two-way friendly, Second Amendment friendly and stuff. But, you know, they're saying, OK, we are leaving New York and stuff because, you know, of the corrupt uh, politicians and stuff like that, all this stuff that is going on. Now, Latita James done came out and basically saying that um, they're not going to let the NRA invade none of the issues and stuff that that that, um, that they brought upon themselves uh, to my she's saying that she still, you know, want the executives, Lafayette and, and some of the other ones in the NRA to pay all this money back that they pretty much stole from the company and everything for their personal use and gain or whatever the case may be. So I'm talking about, you know, just seeing this and then you had Joe Biden a few days ago talking about, you know, he vowed to pretty much um, to to get rid of the NRA and stuff, you know, to pretty much just weaken the NRA. I'm talking about, you know, I'm talking about the thing now is, you know, in the two-way community, for what we're facing, we're facing a tough uphill battle, people. I'm talking about, you know, a lot of us, uh, you know, we have been, we've been fighting for so long. We have so, I'm talking about, it seems like for every foot that we, every step that we take, it's like we're taking 10 steps back, people. That's what a lot of gun owners are feeling right now. And, you know, just looking at this whole NRA thing, I'm talking about, nobody's shocked. We, I'm talking about, we have other great gun organizations and stuff out there. But, you know, we don't want to give the other side momentum. I'm talking about, this is what I've been talking about. Any little game for them, they see it as momentum. And, you know, when you're looking at some of the other things and stuff, when it comes to um, gun owners in this country and stuff, we're seeing the uh, pretty much the, 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 the stars pretty much lining up. And, you know, we're seeing the, the, the pretty much the strategy that I've been talking about for a long time. Uh, to my, they're not going to just come to your door and knock on your door and take your guns from your people. Uh, to my, they're doing it in, a, in multiple ways. Uh, to my, they're, they're doing it in so many directions that gun owners can't even keep up. And that's how they've been doing it. They've been chipping away at your Second Amendment and stuff like that. Not taking huge chunks. They're chipping away. And like I said before, uh, to my, they're not going to start, um, you know, from the outside. They're going to work their way from the inside. They're working their way from the outside. That's how they're doing it. And when it comes to gun organizations such as an NRA and all the other places, that's how they're doing it, people. I'm talking about that is the way they're doing it. I'm talking about when it comes to some of your um, your gun rights and stuff, guess what? The NRA is one of the strongest organizations, gun organizations out there that was paying a lot of money for lobbyists. I'm talking about a lot of people don't understand, you know, how much money that lobbyists make. And you have different organizations they are paying lobbyists and stuff and the NRA are paying lobbyists and stuff to fight for your second amendment in all these states in this country and everything. They all over the place. And you still have Bloomberg. You still have all his um, anti-gun groups out there. You know, they are paying lobbyists and stuff to take away your second amendment. So like I said, it's going to cost money and you know, we're going to have to keep fighting people. I'm talking about, you know, just because the NRA has been and now. With the NRA, they're saying that they're moving to Texas so they can reorganize. They filed this bankruptcy basically to stall off all the, the lawsuits and stuff and all this kind of stuff so they can reorganize and stuff and I guess get their finances and stuff right. Um, I guess they're moving to Texas and, and all this kind of stuff. But Latita James said that Texas is not going to save them. They're still coming after them and everything. And she's saying that you have the executives who are trying to evade, um, you know, um, you know, pretty much... Um, them being prosecuted and all this kind of stuff. So, like I said, people, this is um, not even this is not over and everything. Uh, to my the NRA got a long way to go. Uh, to my there's so many allegations that I've been reading that's still coming out about the NRA and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, as gun owners in this country, people, we still gonna have to fight. We still got great gun organizations is out there. The GOA. We still got a lot of um, you know gun organizations that still fight for your Second Amendment and stuff. And we, like I said, people, we can't. We got to keep moving forward and everything. And you know, like I said, when it comes to the NRA people, we need every gun organization in the fight. Um, we can't be losing one. But like I said before, the NRA uh, pretty much done this to themselves. I'm talking about with the end fight and, and executives and stuff. Um, pretty much greed. Pretty much just took down the NRA. Greed. So they did it to themselves and everything. But, you know, we're going to see how far this go and everything when it comes to the NRA people. I'm quite sure there's more information to come out and everything. 
But this is some of the stuff that I've been looking at and everything. But I'm not saying the NRA is done, but I'm just saying that, you know, they got a lot of uh, home, a lot of work to do and a lot of reorganize, reorganize, uh, reorganizing with the organization and everything. And, you know, when it comes to the, the memberships and stuff, I don't know. I haven't looked at the numbers lately to see if are, are they're still strong or whatever, are they weak. But, you know, obviously, I think the NRA is in a bad financial situation um, for them to be making this move and stuff that they're doing and everything. So um, I also seen some stuff like, you know, I know the headquarters in Fairfax, Virginia, but I don't you know, but I know they have filed as a nonprofit organization in New York. So. I told my, I don't know. To my, I was looking at that. That's very confusing to me. Some of you probably know more than better than I do and everything. But we have a lot of on our plate as gun owners in this country. So I just kind of want to talk about the NRA a little bit and everything. So this is D Channel Guns, and I will catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.